Good job. That was hashtag great. Hashtag funny. Guys, I was right. He is talented. <laughs> Our next performer is uh, David Mabanu. He's a junior, I believe. You know, except for the seniors, I don't really know much about these other performers. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The only thing I know about David is that uh, he rejected me on the Facebook page. Did you just let me see Facebook group. Alright, but uh, give a big hand to David Mabanu. Let's go! Shout out to Saad, who couldn't be here. I know some people specifically came for Saad, but he would have been hilarious. So, let me give a hand to Saad before we start. Alright, alright. Well, GSMST, school, full of smart people, everybody's genius, but we all have our little slip-ups sometimes. There was a kid at the school that you're actually going to see today. He convinced me his name was Balal. <laughs> 100% serious, this is no joke. I'll tell you the story. The second day of freshman year, I was near the front of the line, says so on the grill over there, about to get my food. Out of nowhere, this man just comes and just steps right in front of me. This was not your average man, this guy was pretty big. His name, he was, he was a black guy, he was pretty big. Stepped in front of me. So I was kind of wondering, what should I do? Should I confront him? Before I could get a decision out, he turns to me, he introduces himself, holds out his hand. Hello, my name is Bilal. <laughs> now you have to understand what's going through my head at this moment. I was overjoyed. I, I was too happy. I got through what, sophomore, you watched like the world falls apart. I seen this stuff, I heard about it, but I never actually met somebody that literally, because that's a legit language, it's not a joke, that's a legit language. I never met somebody who spoke like that. So I didn't reprimand him or anything, I shook his hand, I'm David Mbadu, shook his hand. Me and we're friends now. <laughs> so, later, you can imagine my disappointment in my mental intellect when I figured out that my friend was not actually named that, his name was Aziz. <laughs> convincing accent, and I'm, I guess, there he is over there, yeah, there he is. I, I don't even know if you remember that, but I, I remember that, because I felt so dumb. I didn't tell the person who told me, because I didn't want them thinking I was retarded. Tell my friends. <laughs> yeah, I have some other friends, some of my friends make slip-ups as well. A certain friend of mine, we were at lunch one day eating, I like fruit, so I always get little fruit cup things. There's cantaloupe, honeydew melon on my plate. My friend points at me. He points to my train and he goes, I almost on that antelope. <laughs> I was like, antelope? I think my whole table kind of paused and kind of looked like antelope? So, I, I mean, I, obviously I thought he was talking about my cantaloupe, so I was like, uh, alright, sure, you can have some cantaloupe. Nah, nah, I don't want no cantaloupe. I want antelope. <laughs> My friends, he points to the honeydew melon. This was no mistake. My man wanted antelope, and he was thinking he was going to get it. At this point, my table is in panic stage. We have just figured out one of our friends thinks honeydew melon is a deer. A deer with some horns. I'll tell you how bad this is, because I asked him later. He said, you know, his whole family had been calling it antelope. <laughs> to illustrate how bad this is, just imagine, what if you thought pineapple was reindeer? <laughs> In your whole life, you've been calling pineapple reindeer. Can you imagine you and your family go to like a fancy restaurant or something like this, all dressed up, sitting down, ready to eat? And you try to order for your son, use a bit of a British, you know, accent, try to sound a bit more fancy. The waiter comes over, you're like, yes, my son would like some um, reindeer pieces. <laughs> yes, yes, he really enjoys the diced reindeer, can we have some diced? Of course, you can imagine the waiter's look. You're like, yeah, I like some reindeer too, reindeer. Nah, 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 
you don't want to have that happen. But thankfully, next period I was able to Google antelope, and we showed him what an antelope was. <laughs> he now knows how to do balanced to antelope, so that's pretty good. You know something I don't like? When people that have slip-ups are making my food. But there was this one exception in which I got the greatest thing from Burger King. I love Burger King from this to point on. So, <laughs> Burger King love it. So, we go to Burger King. Me and my mom, we're not balling. We're on that, at the moment, we were on that dollar menu. So, so. <laughs> at the moment, at the moment, we got the snacks and Anyway, so we just got like two burgers, like, you know, like what they sell, like Junior Whopper or something like that, little fries. I got like a burger. So we pull up to the window. We pay our $3 or whatever, something like that. The guy's making our meal take him forever. Forever. And we're just sitting there in the car like, we ordered two burgers. Why is he taking so much? So we're looking at the window. This guy's just, you know, he has a bag. So first he puts in like one burger, then another one. Then another one, and then another one, and he like puts some fries in there, like a large fry, and then another bag comes to the window, he just sits that down, and we're just watching him pile in to our three dollar order. Like, Take as much time as you want. <laughs> so eventually this guy, just, he's apparently rushed. He opens the door. We go to say something. He's just like, oh, what was he He just goes right back in. So we're like, fine, all right. He hands us our order. And we, as customers that have some place to go, didn't have time to check the bag to see if our order was correct. So, laughing, not because of, you know, the fact that we may or may not have gotten more food than we asked for, I told my mom, let's speed off. We got a family to feed. <laughs> and so we did. <laughs> we just got off. We got home because it was really just coming from me and my mom. My little brothers got food. There was extra food. <laughs> oh my gosh. I saw the receipt in that. What I was really thinking about was what was this guy having to do when he got back to the counter for the person that actually ordered this? Can you imagine? He brings up like two burgers and a fries. like, there you go. $17 worth right there. <laughs> Sir, you look, are you okay, sir? Good gracious, he must have had a heart. I feel bad for him. That's why math is good, guys. Math is a really good thing to have. Keep up in your calculus and your adding and subtracting. It's good stuff. Yep. Well, school lunch. I came to talk about comedy, so. Now, I, before we get started, I love the lunch ladies. They have saved me a few different times. Have any of you guys ever been charging before? Go to buy some school lunch and you're charging? They gave you that little, you know, you're, you're charging. You're like, ah. <laughs> Those ladies are some good people. But, the way the food is delivered. Have anybody seen the new juices lately? <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I love my vegetables. I love sweet potatoes. I love broccoli. <laughs> I love all that stuff. But you know where I don't love it? In my juice. I'm sad to say I still do love juice, so I drink it anyway. But at the same token, I prefer we stick to fruit. And then, they have this, there's a very good thing they do there. You know, government and whoever's sending out the food. They're smart people. Chicken and waffles. Now, I love chicken. I'm pretty sure most people out there love chicken. Now, they just serve waffles alone. Nobody's gonna buy that. But chicken and waffles combined? Get rid of the waffles, people like chicken. You have to take the waffles with it. <laughs> they use chicken a lot. You ever seen the baked chicken in the um, little, you know, macaroni stuff that's below it? Yeah, I love baked chicken. Macaroni? Ugh. I like macaroni, but not from here. So, I don't think, yeah, yeah. I don't know what they're sending out this whole week, Michelle Obama, good person, but. Yeah, so, good way of getting rid of excess stuff. Speaking about the Obamas, you guys want to know the real reason Obama won the election? No. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Hold on a second. You guys know Mitt Romney, right? Yeah, yeah slick haired guy. You know his real name isn't Mitt. And I'm being 100% serious, because I was shocked to find this out too. Now, before I go into Mitt Romney's real name, rappers, they like to use, you know, they like to be able to. Rap with stuff that's in, you know, presidential stuff. You know, Obama, it rhymes with anything. 
Obama's mama was a llama that had, <laughs> had a fear of Osama. You know, they're George Bush, I mean, maybe not exactly rap-worthy, but at the same time, it's George Bush. I mean, come on. It's okay with that. Clinton, Clinton was cool. Anyway, so, they need somebody elected who they can actually rap about. The rappers are the real people who won the elections. Two chains? Two terms? They know it to be true. Anyway, Mitt Romney's real name ready for this. Somebody just said it, but keep quiet. Willard. <laughs> His name was Willard Mitt Romney. Now, you know what name is bad. You have, you're running for the President of the United States, and the whole country doesn't even know your real name. It's so bad, you've decided to just cast it off. I'm Mitt now. My name is Mitt. My, my middle name is Prince Chinedu. I just walked around. Yeah, you can just call me Prince, Prince Chinedu, but you can also call me PC for short. <laughs> now, can you imagine they were in a debate, heated debate, going back and forth? You know, it was the first debate, I don't know if any of y'all watched it, juniors did, because you have A-plus. But anyway, they're going back and forth, back and forth, Mitt's taking over the conversation, and Obama's like, Mitt, 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 you know, Mitt, Mitt. He has to <laughs> that Obama niceness that he needs to, you know, get over sometimes. And then, out of nowhere, he just drops the ball. <laughs> Willard. <laughs> I can just imagine Mitt Romney just kind of stops. The reporters are dropping cameras. You're watching Fox. You're watching Fox News. Just go <laughs> staring at somebody's shoes. Scandals in the ground. People looking around like, did he just say that? would have been done way early. But Obama's a nice guy. You know, he kind of let him destroy himself. Yep, 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 yep. So, <laughs> yeah, so this year, came in thinking I was going to do good. Sat down in class, you know, I started taking all my quizzes and stuff like that, doing great. It's the beginning of the year, everything's going well. And then this thing happens, this strange thing. It happens to most, I don't know if most of y'all have had this, but it happens when you come to school. It's this thing called a test. I was like, what is this? I thought school was easy. Sit down and take a test. Has anybody here taken a bio test before? No. Bio Ooh. test? Yeah, favorite stuff in the world. Let me explain to you for those freshmen what a bio test is. You're studying ecology, your biomes. You thought Tiger was a rapper, you learned out his mouth. <laughs> You studied your butt off for this biome thing. You know just about anything carnivorous for us. I know it's not carnivorous, carnivorous for that reason. You're just ready. So you sit down. Sit down in the chair. First question. What was the third to right hair on Abraham Lincoln's beard? What was the color of it? Was it A, gray, B, brown, C, black, D, none of the above? So you're kind of looking around, looking at your friends like, am I, am I the only one? Do we have the same t You see one or two of your friends kind of just like, at the same time, so okay. You ready, strength? All right, maybe, maybe. I know Dr. Graham forgot to cover that section. All right. Moving along. Question number two. If you were jump roping, jump roping, excuse me, with goldfish, what are the chances that global warming will kill us all? At this point, finishing the test is not on your mind. I'll tell you what is on your mind. What's the closest fast food restaurant? Because we know you're not going to have a car. Ever. Afford a nice air conditioned box. Poke some holes in the top. That means you gotta buy pencils. You're gonna need money from somewhere. It's, it's gotta come. It's gotta come. But I'll tell you one thing college, collage. I don't know what college is. Yep. So, this year's been going pretty good so far. Pretty good, pretty good. Everybody's been attending school. But. <laughs>
<laughs> One thing that I have noticed is the breaks have seemed to be getting shorter and shorter and shorter. I think this is because I'm a junior, and it seems like every year you go through GSMST, they just take like an hour out of your day. I think there's some kind of hour pension they just take away. Because I get home from school at 4, I take a nap, wake up and it's time to go to GSMST. <laughs> about you guys, but when I came freshman, it didn't work like that. Freshman year, I get home from GSMST, I go to Stone Mountain, take a day trip to California, take a plane back, have a little party in Miami, you know, we sign it, all on this. And then, I decide to go to sleep, and then I come to GSMST. But, I mean, I guess it just doesn't work like that anymore. Real unfortunate stuff. Well, guys, that's my time, so...